Welcome, everybody, to episode number one of Zedopolis. We spent episode number zero going over some of the changes and edits I made to this cool custom map I found on the Steam Workshop. And then after that, I had a live stream where we just got a little bit of a start, where we unlocked some basic things so we can get to work on the real meat and potatoes of the city instead of starting off somewhere and unlocking something and then realizing we didn't design the district with that in mind um, i started this little starter area on the right and we unlocked most of the basic services except for the airport and the shipping everything else is mostly unlocked so from this point forward we can design with like everything in mind it's gonna be cool and if you would like to catch these live streams in the future all of my videos have my twitch um profile in the description so you can find it there you can follow me there and we'll try to do more of these live streams where we uh, take suggestions and do some of the grunt work like uh, design road layouts and do a bunch of scenery here let's turn the UI, the ui back on so uh here's the milestones we've done we did all of these we got all the basic services schools police fire health trash uh, all the different transports except for the shipping. I don't think we have shipping yet. Uh, we don't have solar power yet. We don't have airports yet. And yeah, here's the harbors. So we don't have those. We don't have nuclear power, but we got we have most of the meaty stuff. And this is what we did during the stream. I said on the stream that I would delete this right after we fit it, or not right after we finished it, but once I was more established in this part of the city, and then we would redesign this and make it better. It might be salvageable. We might delete it. I'm not sure. It does look okay. It's not terrible. We've got this nice little buffer of different colored fall trees sort of setting off the, hopefully making a sound barrier. And if you click on, let's see, is this it? That's wind. Pollution. That's the headphones. Sound. I'm not sure if that does anything, but it looks pretty. Supposedly it does, but I'm not exactly sure. Now, one thing it does do, putting this buffer between the highway and your district, when you zoom out, it helps just add a little level of detail to show you like where the big, huge highway is and where the little tiny roady stuff is with all the houses. It helps set things apart, add some detail. Um, everything's going fine, and I think what we're going to do now, we're going to start on the main downtowny area of the city which is going to be here and actually as i was saving up money and clearing trees to start work here we hit another milestone so i can actually buy this one now for twelve thousand one hundred dollars purchase so this whole area right here is going to be the the biggest skyscrapery area of the city and we're going to create several exit ramps. So let's just, I just want to mark up a little bit. Uh, I think we're going to do something like this. We're going to have uh, a little entrance area and district there. Uh, we'll probably have one there. And then we'll probably have one here. And then probably another one over here. And each of those is going to lead to a district, which is not going to be connected to each other by roads. The only way to get to and from the different districts will be by going onto the highway or using all the different uh, transport methods. So we'll have um, we'll have buses. And because I'm using the Traffic++ Plus Plus mod, we've got these bus exclusive roads. And actually, the After Dark patch did add, I think added these roads. I've been using Traffic++ Plus Plus since before City Skylines After Dark came out, so I'm not sure exactly which roads got added by what. But we, we do have bus uh, bus roads, bus lanes. So we can connect them with those. We can connect with the pedestrian paths. We can also connect um, with the subway and also pedestrian trains. So here's kind of my idea. Uh, so for instance, this highway here is going to lead to a district, which is probably going to be residential, which is going to look just vaguely like that right something oops no i want to be like that something like that and then this one is going to lead to a district that's going to be down here and look something like this this one will lead to a district and i might have to we'll see what uh, this mountain might influence how this gets designed but it might be something like this 
and this guy is going to be something like this. So there's going to be some overlap, and then we're going to use the trains. And we'll have a station here, and a station here, and a station here. So the train will go between them. And then the metro will go here in one big long line, instead of having a bunch of mess of loops. Last city I played, I had a lot of loops with the metro, and that led to so many problems. So we're going to design this in this manner, so we can string everything in a linear fashion with these districts. And uh, I think we'll start to refine this, but first, we need to make some cool squiggly highway stuff. Alright, there we go. There's the first official district designed. It does have some issues I'm foreseeing with the traffic. So the highway system comes in here and then splits up and can go left or right. And then to get out, you can either take this exit or that exit. So the, the traffic is okay in that aspect. But uh, one problem I'm foreseeing is that to get down here, you're going to have to go past the exit ramp. And so there's going to be traffic converging towards that and going past it. I think that might cause issues and we might have to do something like um, add a road here and get rid of that get rid of that road or just keep it uh, I might have to change that into a road. We have a road here which does help and we might uh, we might update some of these to one lane roads to try to funnel the the outgoing traffic to there and the ingoing traffic down this way. So this might be one lane this way. Uh, this might be one lane going that way, just to force people around in this direction. But I'm not too concerned about that right this second. What I want to do, I want to design a couple of these districts without zoning anything, without adding any parks or metro or anything, uh, just to get an idea of how they look next to each other and the spaces between them, because we're going to need to put trains and that kind of thing. So if you click on the district, I've updated this one, and I've sort of revised the way these are going to look. So this one, I've just named it uh, Residential 1, High Density, and this one Office 1, and we'll, we'll give it a real name later. In, in the streams, I don't know if I showed this earlier, uh, the stream people suggested I name the farming area Man Plants. So that's Man Plants. This is Starterville. Those might change as well as we uh, continue to add more character to these things. They might, a, na a better name might suggest it itself. Uh, but anyway, I want an office area. And so I'm just going to do a little bit of brief sketching. We're probably not going to zone any of this this episode. I, th I think I want to lay out three of them. I want to lay out three of them so that we can understand how the trains and the buses and all the stuff going between the districts. I want to know how that works before we have anything permanent. Uh, anyway, okay, so um, let's see. How did I have that laid out? We're going to have it come something like here, that highway. Uh, so let's just say it's going to be... Two ticks elevated because it's going to have to come from above there. So this is this will be the inbound. And actually, you know what? Let's do it this way so that we can guarantee 90 degree angles. There. Okay. And then we can switch to that. Now that will be a 90 degree angle. 
and then we can have that go down like that. And we can delete these, and we can uh, modify that backwards. How did we do as far as centering it? Yeah, okay, I think that'll work. All right, so uh, it's going to come down like that, and I want it to basically, because the office area is going to have a lot, of, a lot more traffic than just residential, because it's going to have workers coming from multiple residential areas. So uh, I want to really be f more finicky with the traffic for this one. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do that, and uh, we're going to split it just in half. Oh, you know what? We have to do it like this. I really wish I could do this kind of thing in the map editor. You can't. You can't. You can only use the highways. I wish you could use these other roads. And then we can update these. And maybe it won't be quite that wide, but this is the general idea. It's going to come in from one central direction. Split in half, and we're going to really think of this, think of like, um, if you can see particles in water, like, well, kind of like this, actually. Like, I want there to be a flow to the way these things are, are moving through. So if it's coming in like that, I'll probably have um, an exit on either side going out. Uh, let's do just a little bit of drawing with these roads. So uh, I made these highways because you can move faster on them. And uh, there's no traffic lights and no zoning. We could also, we could just do this. And maybe we want to do it this way as well. Maybe this is better. So this will give you a traffic light. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. As long as the, oh no, there's no traffic light. As long as the traffic is flowing properly, that's okay. I wanted to change these so we can actually look at uh, the distances involved. So I, I, so I can kind of measure things and get an idea. So that's like, oh, look at that. I made it exactly three clicks. Time skip. All right, I've got it a little bit more developed. It's starting to take shape. It's just really trial and error. Draw a little bit of road, delete it, try it again, try some different directions and angles and see what works with what you're trying to do. So I had a very straight shape. I just started breaking it up. I made some, uh, made it have a little bit of curviness to it. And we're just going to start to add roads in. And I wanna add, I wanna preserve that one gap just so we can continue. Uh, so we can continue to put the pathing in there without reducing the amount of zonable space we've got. And we can also do some this way. Just start to draw. I'm just drawing. And uh, like over time, I'll, I'll like delete some and add some back. Like I notice, okay, so there's a, about a pretty decent amount with no intersection. So then maybe I would delete that. And this guy needs to get uh, upgraded. Like a so. And we can do the same thing over here. Draw that way, and just see how much space we have, how the uh, the zoning works out, how things connect up. Like this might uh, connect up to this road over here, or I might uh, we might end up trying to replicate that curve. Although probably not. And this road does connect up over there, and I'm also oh it does not. That is uh, not 90 degrees, just ever so slightly off. Well, this is kind of the process. Um, I showed you this at the beginning, and I guess some in the montage you might have seen. It's just a very slow process, so that's why I do most of it off camera. Yeah, but eventually we'll end up with something a bit more developed there. And sort of the, the updated district sketch, what we're going for is something like this. And I think this one is probably going to be some kind of leisure area, like casinos or other kind of rides. We're down here, kind of, it's not really a beach, but we can put different, like, fishing docks and stuff like that that are in the game now. We can have, like, this guy, fishing pier, fish tours, uh, jet ski rental, things like that might end up there. And over here, this is probably going to be... High definition, or I mean, high density, residential, too. Right there. Um, 
and we'll call this high density residential three. Uh, so we do need to keep in mind that, um, so these rail lines, by the way, these are going to be cargo. So I think we need to bring cargo into the office area and we need to connect that up between our specialized industry and unspecialized industry, which hasn't been made yet. And that will probably end up being perhaps here will be specialized or unspecialized industry. We'll have to connect all that up to rails. The passenger rails will be a totally different system from the cargo rails just to uh, decrease the amount of traffic so they don't interrupt each other. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this episode. That's a pretty good amount of progress for episode number one. So I'll probably alternate um, live stream and videos, uh, but we'll go over like what we've done in the live stream for the video uh, and vice versa, I guess. So if you can't make it, you're not going to miss out on everything. It's just kind of like an added thing I think is fun to do. This really turned out nice, didn't it? Look how squiggly and it just all works properly. Like this in particular, this not only looks neat and it looks like I just added a whole bunch of highway. I did that on purpose because if you come in this way and the person going out wants to go off to the right, you need them to exit after the people coming in are entering so that they don't cross each other up. So if this this was originally here, and I predicted traffic problems with that, so that's how some of that design got designed. Anyway, that's it. See you later. Bye-bye.